that's they messed up big time when they did that. I didn't realize there was that many of them. Generic intro in the deck goes move here. Back with another game through your Minecraft video, and today we're doing the 1.2 update, which is Minecraft's buried history, and it says the origin of death. Apparently, this is going to be uh, lore talking about the wither or death or something like that. Maybe the wither is supposed to be like death incarnate or the Grim Reaper. I'm not really sure of the 1.2 update. I'm not sure what was that because I believe 1.2 was the one that recently came out with Tricky Trials and 1.2, I have no idea what was actually added. There's probably going to be things in here that, or maybe this is archaeology. I don't, I'm not sure. Like I said, I do not know. I'm not very up to date with what comes out in each update. I literally just start my Minecraft Monday stream and then people in chat tell me that there's a new thing in the game. I'm like, oh, okay, let's, okay, let's check that out. I was like, oh, what update is it? I've never kept track of like what update things are on but a version that something's on you can check out my reaction last video which is give me your soul minecraft legends video i'll leave it right up there also a link down below in the description also in two playlists on my channel for game theory one being minecraft and one being all game theory videos as we're approaching the end of the game theory minecraft videos there's only three more after this but they're probably gonna be really good and they're actually only a couple months old we were within the last year of game theory F minecraft i about to say fnaf i'm just, i did a lot of game theory fnaf videos okay there's a playlist on my channel for that but thank you so much for being here. Shout out to patrons. I really could not do this if it was not for them. $3 a month to get you all my reaction videos a day early. It's like 16 videos a week. And I really, 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 really could not do this without the patrons. And I really mean that. But I really thank you for being here. It's been a very, very, very rough week for me. I, I don't know how many times I've said very already in this intro. It's also late at night. But it's been a rough week. I hope I can make your day a tiny little better because my days have been really rough, but you being here makes my day just a tiny little better. I will read your comments. I read every single comment, so leave some down below. But let's go ahead and jump into Minecraft's buried history. The All sands right. of time slowly cover up what and also likes are like super important. He loves showing People this portal. Once driven by creation, now left in ruin. Erosion and hubris casting a shadow over what once was. The crumbling I'm trying to remember what was the 1.2 update. Was it the archaeology? Society, leaving a puzzle to the past. I don't think I've seen a sniffer. Someday, someone will pick up those pieces of this These are the pottery thing, which I have a ton the story of. of their downfall. Well, that day is today. Those are in the tricky trials, but is this me. isn't tricky trials. Wait, so when was the Hello, last Hello Internet? Welcome to Game Theory, Minecraft Game the Theory. The show that's always happy to brush up on some Minecraft. Uh -huh. You know, when I'm super doing excited every time the Mojang drops a new like, update. New updates mean Matt mobs, going crazy new locations, with it. new mechanics for us to mine through for story. And that was doubly so for 1.20 because they were finally adding something that had been teased all the way back in 2020. Archaeology. Archaeology I don't is understand literally uncovering what history. These are it is putting important. together the lore of Bunch real life. Fossils. So I waited fossils for cool. three years and anticipation and finally finally when the trails and tails update trails came out that's what it's called? A camel. there was also a sniffer a new chair oh, that's a sniffer fire, and then a handful of armor designs oh, and this was the trim not exactly okay. the most groundbreaking stuff at least at first glance sure there was no big exciting entity like the warden or a i still need to one shot the like warden city, i'm restoring one of those it well, is a surface, massive project largely pointless and empty. i love it though it's gonna be so deeper, cool you start to uncover the real story behind everything in fact i believe that this update gives us the most comprehensive look into the society of ancient builders that we've been theorizing about for years their daily lives their tribal disputes also, and ultimately ancient where it all Egypt was around wrong, so long the that there was a profession the wither. in Grab ancient your Egypt to study brushes, ancient loyal Egypt theorists. it's time we dust off the lost pieces of minecraft's forgotten civilization can you actually and make pots with the charts whole thing i have so many the different seemingly ones smallest new additions to the game that's ever happened the pieces of pottery otherwise known as pottery sherds these sherds sure. Or shards. The Minecraft world at five archaeological sites the desert temples desert wells both the warm and cold ocean ruins and the newly added trail ruins there are 20 unique designs for these wait, sherds and when combined together trial. you can actually create a pot that can wait is it tricky items. trials and or no tricky you trails? haven't been mishearing me this entire time I am indeed saying sherds and not shards it turns out that a sherd is actually the technical term for broken pottery found at an archaeological site it is so why why do we need that word to but exist? hey good on you Mojang for being historically accurate it tells us that they had big plans for these. Oh, wait, I've that many different custom Let me tell ones. you, looking at these shirts, it's like banners. Ooh, they reveal a lot. You see, pottery plays a huge role in helping historians learn about the lives That's and beliefs true. of ancient civilizations. Food, fabrics, people, yep, they're all going to decay over time and fairly quickly, I might add. But pottery Some can last a lot others. longer. And so it's often one of the only remaining evidence points that historians can use to think about true. how these ancient cultures behaved and operated. Sure, great megalithic structures like the pyramids can tell us a lot about the kings. Uh, yeah. 
yeah. religious customs. Considering those were ancient, was an in ancient part Egypt. Of the daily lives of everyone. And while today we might think of ceramic pots as just vessels for carrying stuff around like liquids Succulents. or plants, ancient societies gave these much more important and prominent roles in their lives. The ancient They're Greeks also used very to decorate expensive. their vases with elaborate ornamentation, allowing them to depict different aspects of the day-to-day -day life, from work to parties to sports, even showing their rituals for religious events like funerals. One of the most Bro, famous examples putting your instruction manual on a race base, of, which depicts base, images of a bride race. in That's, wedding nope. scenes, along with characters from mythology that represent marital bliss. From this one pot alone, archaeologists were able to learn so much about ancient Greek marital traditions. In short, fragments of pottery well, well, like, are often the best the and only view that we get into the day-to-day -day lives of long-gone ancient forgotten that King people. Tuts? And given that these 20 new Minecraft shirts are all decked out with various symbolic I didn't realize there was that many of them. trying to do I exactly didn't... that. The other important thing to note about these I've shirts only found is that a the 20 specific them. shirt designs can all be found in the same place. That different explains sets it. Different are designated to different biomes and different ruins. That which explains means it. that while we might have been right about an ancient builder race, they so you're talking about the room under the pyramid? monolithic people like we've been assuming. Instead, what we're seeing drawn on these shirts isn't just telling us about the daily lives of the ancient builders, but of their specific societies and their clans. Each location had its own set of values, its own culture, oh. its own daily tasks. And when you stop and think about it, that actually makes a lot more sense. Depending the on world, where they're all found. Of humanity started off with one common ancestor that left the African continent sometime between 60 and 90,000 years ago. I heard something that said that, humanity it, spread, that it they didn't spread start all like across that. The globe, I don't know. I'm not that sure if that's right or wrong. Might have just been and as a result, they built so amazing the wonders of the world that were wrong. specific to the region where they lived, which meant that things like religion, defense, entertainment, they all took different forms depending on where they were in the world. And we see this that's crazy that in the differences like of that. some of the great structures that we find across the Minecraft world. The ocean monuments, for instance, were designed to look like ancient Mesopotamian ziggurats, buildings are those meant the to connect biggest... the heavens to the earth, which is noticeably different from the jungle like temples, buildings? which are more yeah, similar so to the ancient Hindu and Buddhist temples found in the jungles throughout Cambodia, like the Bang Malaya and Ta Prom. It therefore makes a lot more sense to say that these were all created by different groups of like people, a well, spread out well, the over mansion's vast huge. distances for their own needs, rather than created by one all-powerful super like, civilization. Like, give us giant pyramids Even the new in addition of armor sick. trim seems to point in this direction. These items allow players to add decorative enhancements to their I still armor, haven't which alone played doesn't with seem the like armor much, but when you once again consider that they're spread all across the Minecraft world, of course they added another, them, and some in the end, you start my, to I think my favorite is the ancient the city world. one. Different tribes with armor made of similar materials, but all with different designs yep. that reflect their look. From the same culture. time, though. Now that we know that there were indeed different as soon tribes as I spread out across the Minecraft world, my ancient what were the differences city being between safe, them? And what they can added they tell the us trims. about like, the ancient oh. Minecraft culture? Well, let's Speaking start of off with cities? what I believe to be the oldest Yeah, tribe. I'm going through and fixing all that. from the newest of the archaeological sites, the Trail Ruins. Found in forest biomes like the jungle and taiga, these things are almost completely buried, with only the tallest buildings peeking out of the surface to find. And that already is Mojang telling us something. Huh? It's telling us that these buildings are old. Like, really, really old. That, that's all that's left of them. It takes a long time for sediment to completely bury something like an entire village. For a real-world example, just look Easter at the Moai, commonly known as the Easter Island Heads. They were created between the 15th and 16th centuries. And for a long time, people thought that's all they were. Giant, big brain so heads bodies? sticking out of the ground. But they're not. There are actually bodies under each of those heads. But over the centuries, sediment built up around the abandoned statues so only the heads were visible above the surface. Just like we're seeing with the trail ruins. But it goes beyond just being I buried actually haven't been to a trail the ruin yet. armor trims found specifically in the trail ruins show us a lifestyle that in the real world we would consider ruin? to be part of the birth of civilization. The howl shirt, for instance, shows us a wolf. An animal that was once considered to be a threat to early humans, later domesticated the during the late Mesolithic period. Used to help out with everything dogs. from hunting and protection while we were still in the hunter-gatherer phase. The sheep and shirt dogs are, a bundle of well, wheat. Some are. wheat is the most well, common crop in Minecraft, great. but it's also Love one dogs. of the first plants that we as humans ever domesticated. Again, during that same Mesolithic period. But the hmm. thing that really proves that this is coming from the oldest group by far is some that we've seen not only in the real world, but also in the lore of Minecraft itself. In the trail ruins, you can find yourself a variety of different armor trims. But yeah, what the, what's the most basic one? Eye, the host armor trim. Now, the hosts were the godlike beings found in Minecraft Oh, yeah, Legend. yeah, that was the last week's video. I learned about them. The summoned our character in to help save the day. At the end of the game, when peace has been restored to the overworld, they just the hosts, they just dip. They peace out. They're like, we're good here. Never so come back. we theorize that the ancient civilizations did all they could to, to bring, bring them back. This host armor trim being here seems to suggest that we were on the right track. And history also backs Maybe? this up. Religious practices and rituals are found in our own history dating as far back as the Middle Paleolithic Era. I don't even know what... Okay, there we go. 100,000 years ago. This was indeed the first tribe wow. after the events of Minecraft 
Warcraft Legends, a tribe of people that were trying to call upon the old gods for help. And the that's tribe of why people everything while they were waiting focused decided on the host. to set up some basic farming, hide in dense wooded areas, and domesticate animals, giving rise to the first ever civilization like we've talked about in a previous episode. But as time goes episode. on, and the hosts of old don't immediately return, the ancient builders ever. continue to develop. They continue to spread out to other biomes in order to gather resources. In one of my earliest Minecraft theories, we talked a lot about the underwater temples. That Another was like, what, the third or fourth this video? Found under the sea. We hypothesized that the people who created these submerged pyramids were either fishermen or perhaps pirates by trade. And now, thanks to the Sherds, we know that both That's... of these ideas were right, just a little bit more nuanced than we expected. So what's the actual story? One of story? these Sherds is the Angler Sherd. Angler, as in a person who catches fish, a fisherman. Oh. And as this Sherd is only found in the warm ocean ruins, it likely means that, just like the trail ruins relied on basic agriculture, this group relied on fishing for survival in their trade. But once you head on over to the cold Makes ocean sense. ruins, you get yourself a very different civilization. We find shared fragments like Blade, Explorer, Plenty, sound a wee bit like pirates, don't you think? In fact, the shipwrecks, which have been a part of the game yeah, since yeah, shipwrecks are cool. aquatic update, are chock full of plundered booty. So it seemed like the cold ocean <laughs> ruin civilization booty. were largely a society of pirates who used these ships to terrorize other civilizations, stealing their resources and their treasures. And that's why they have a crazy so collection of things. Then there's the final two archaeological sites. The well. He's in did the I desert. literally just and talk about him? This is the where well. we see things taking a dark turn. This is where we see the fall of these once great civilizations. The desert temples have always been a place packed with mystery for us theorists. But now we're getting some idea of what these people were doing when they weren't sourcing hundreds of TNT blocks for their death traps. With sherds like the Miner and Prize, it tells us that these were the people who built the mine shafts that you find throughout the overworld. These were the ones that truly pioneered the idea okay. of mining the earth for resources, especially in places like the Badlands or the Red Sand Deserts. Then they bring the all of these resources back to their base, these giant like temples, the and then they booby trap them so no one would actually steal them. Sounds like most Minecraft players in a public server. Except, I don't think that these treasures True. were strictly from the mine shafts alone. I suspect that the desert people were the first civilization so to, to cross to over into the nether. Now, Which, that might seem what like was a going on in the nether? Was it icy? Bunch or... of pottery, but hear me out. The other desert archaeological site is the Desert Wells. And considering the shaft biome, it's forever. not unreasonable to believe that these were the same group of people. I remember finding site, them we can just in the middle of the desert. Like, what is this? Depicting a potion, but remind me, how do you make potions again? You need blaze powder. And the only way to get blaze powder is to grind down blaze rods from blaze, which are only found in, you the guessed nether. it, the nether. There's also a shirt found in the desert temple known as skull, depicting the head of a skeleton. Or you like could a suggest a wither skull. skeleton. It's small and it's pixelated. And so there's, tell, but we also there's know the wither on the blocks? Stone, like you can find in the mine shafts that we just talked about, can be chiseled. And once you chisel it, and what it shows image the appears on the block? Not the wither, wither itself. I'm going crazy. Which ties Sorry. in nicely to the final shirt from the desert well, the arms up shirt. It's a very vague image, just a humanoid figure with its arms up. Is it celebrating? Is it stretching? Is it waiting Scared? for some high fives? Or is it a stance of worship? Many religions have you raising your arms up to worship the god of that faith. And I suspect that's exactly what we're seeing here. But I also it's don't possible. think they're worshiping the hosts like the other factions of ancient builders. Instead, they're worshiping the Wither, a man-made creation. These people were people of science. They built TNT out of the remains of creepers. They built themselves portals to another dimension, all to find the perfect fuel to build their super-powered potions. They were yeah. tired of waiting. Well, for I wonder what kind of potions they had to be Tired of with. watching the creepers, zombies, and skeletons turn from ally to enemy after the events of Minecraft Legends, and so they turned to science. They continued to explore science the Nether and, and saw the life-giving properties of soul sand, vegetation giving life with no water or sunlight. Those so when was the, the raised when was the in the form of wither skeletons. This was exactly what they needed. They brought back the soul-powered sand and experimented, designing the ultimate creature to be their new god, and one that could protect them like the host that's, couldn't. They messed wouldn't. up big time but when they did like that. Just like everything else they knew, it too would turn on them. The damage yeah. caused by the withers felt across the land. Countless lives lost to its and it unending attacks, rage. What, every but mob? few people are able to survive flee to the only place they believe the wither won't find them underground. And they build Those a stronghold. That to the deep dark corners of the Minecraft Earth. Meanwhile, are not stronghold. Ancient cities. Well, they make a stronghold. Hold any that cities. would serve as their new home at least for a little while. They would try to make a different kind of portal to take them to a new world. They would experiment and they again with Soul the Shulk, combining it with and the science warden. of Redstone. But they did all of this with heavy hearts, knowing that they had doomed their once great world. And when the time came to open the portal, it didn't offer them a new chance, only more pain. Out of the portal came the Warden, yeah, a creature and the built of souls, summoned by their regret and their loss. Which is why his pottery shirt, the last in the game, is known as the Mourner. A lost Mourner. relic representing the fall of a once great people who 
whose story only remains Who, but the broken morning, pieces of pots. He's the morning? But lost Who's he morning? The literal sands of time. But hey, that's the just the a theory. That a game what? theory. Thanks for huh. watching. If you're enjoying this breakdown of Minecraft's Forgotten just History, why not check out our what? video on Minecraft's other game, Minecraft Legends. That one's over on the left. Or if you'd like to check out another yeah. game where you wouldn't expect there to be lore, check out our video on Just Dance. That how? one's to the right. Yep, that how, one's got how some is deep cut lore too. I've As never always, played Just my Dance. Friends, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all next week. Very interesting. We are getting caught up six months ago. Uh, well, three months ago, that's gonna be... Yeah, Matt's not gonna be that one. So, I guess the next one's gonna be the last My Matt Pat Minecraft Game Theory video. Which, I'm sure they did other, uh, Minecraft-related videos, just not lore-related. Like, the whole, like, how much does a suit of diamond armor cost and stuff like that. Uh, I'm sure there's other videos, like, which I did that video on diamond armor, but... And then this video just came out four weeks ago. It already has almost as many views as this video did from three months ago. So... I don't know. I love Minecraft. I stream it every single Monday. It's my favorite stream of the entire week. And I, yeah, I'm excited to hear more about the lore because I would have no idea about any of this if it wasn't for these MatPat videos talking about the lore of Minecraft. And I think that, wait, when did 1.21 come out? With, uh, tri is it Tricky Trials or Tricky Trails? I thought they were called Trials. I, I don't know. This is really interesting though. I really, do. can you make the pots out of the sherds? Can you actually, like, assemble a pot, like, that has the little emblem on it? I don't know. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it made day a tiny little bit better. I look forward to reading your comments. And uh, until the next video, take care and keep the music. We were playing.